Alright, this video I'm going to explain why I don't like keys. Um, for one, I don't like the way they look at all. Um, to me, it looks like pajamas. You know what I mean? Like, the style is not my thing. Um, I'm more into the modern look. Um, another thing is the, the material of it. Like, it just looks so uncomfortable. Like, it's just such heavy cotton cloth that I do not see how you can move fluidly or just even move comfortable. Like, there's no breathability at all in, in the garment. And I don't like that at all. You know what I mean? Like, the whole thing with the belt either because it's like you can't even wear the thing without a belt. You know what I mean? Like, so it forces you to wear the belt. The breathability of it is none. It's un it, it's uncomfortable. It can tra it traps in a lot of moisture, and uh, basically make make it stenches. You know what I mean? Like it's almost like work to me. It's almost like working out in like a suit, like a formal suit, and you wouldn't see anybody in their right mind working out basically with like a suit and tie or a tuxedo or something like that I mean who in their right mind is gonna you know run you know bike wrestle box lift weights with a suit and tie I mean that's pretty much what they're wearing I mean it's just so it's, it's, you're not supposed to wear that type of stuff when you work out. It's not built for that. You know what I mean? Like, and in addition, um, it's, it, it symbolizes something. It's symbolizing, like, either the Japanese martial arts or symbolizing the Korean martial arts. And for me, I'm not going to be a symbol for that because that's not my history, that's not what I'm trying to promote. Um, I'm promoting first my own way and then secondly um, the Chinese culture and their ways. So I'll pretty much be wearing things that will promote my way, my business or, or where my culture comes from, you know, where my history is. Um, so I got all those reasonings, but you look at the new technology now, you know, like, I either go shirtless, you know, if it's warm, or I'll wear something like, what I, the brand that I like a lot is Under Armour, but I don't wear Under Armour as much that anymore because I got my own tank tops, you know, made. And the, the, the material that I highly recommend is polyester, a mixture of like polyester and spandex. Um, I like the Under Armour, the way it feels against your body. But what I don't like is that, like I really do like, you know, what Bruce Lee made popular, you know, the wife beater, you know. But the problem with the wife beater is that it's cotton. But I like the way that it looks, like it just basically highlights a lot of your your physical features because there's only just one, you know, there's only one little, um, I don't know how to explain it, but basically it, it highlights more of your, your physique, but the Under Armour covers it all up, and I don't like that. Like a lot of the Under Armour stuff is all s with s sleeves, and you don't really find Under Armour that are tank tops and if you do it's like a wide one where it's covering up a lot of your you know your shoulder and I don't like that I like the bite the wife beaters where it's just basically um, it's highlighting your physique like crazy and I like the way it looks but the only problem is is, it, is that it's cotton um, and I can't really find any place to design a tank top that looks like a wife beater you know what I mean but that's my favorite style right there 
you know, either shirtless or the wife beater with spandex or polyester material, but which I cannot really find. I maybe found just like one of them one one time, but it doesn't even, you know, but then it doesn't have my logo and everything. So I always want to promote my business and my school. Um, so I mainly wear my own tank tops. You know, that's my what I obviously promote. But I like Under Armour too. I like the wife beaters. The only problem is just the, the material. But I like the Under Armour material. Um, as far as pants are concerned, the brand that I recommend is Adidas. I like the way that it fits, the way that it feels for working out. Um, same thing with the shorts. Adidas shorts look nice and they're comfortable to work out. Um, as far as the Chinese martial art uniforms, like the ones with the frog buttons and all that, it looks nice, but I wouldn't work out in it. You know, I, I, you know, I could wear it to take pictures. I could wear it even to, you know, certain events. But it's something where you could wear to, it's almost like your, your jumpsuit, you know, like how basketball players have their warm-up outfit their jumpsuit and then they got the jersey underneath and then they're shooting their hoops to warm up and then when they're ready to play the game they take off the jumpsuit that's kind of how the Chinese martial arts like traditional frog button type of uh, uniform I like the way it looks the designs are great you know they'll have like dragons and all sorts of things and there's no belt you don't wear belts in the Kung Fu it's just a frog button thing it's almost like a it literally almost looks like a suit you know and then you can wear your, your black pants and then you got your tank top underneath and then when you're ready to get intense with the exercise and then you take off the jacket and you're ready to go you know what I mean um, I love that 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 design and everything I'm glad that it's already part of my culture. Um, if I was a Japanese person and then I feel inclined to wear a gi, um, I, you know, I, I, I don't like the gi. I, I would still want the Chinese uniform. I mean, I like the Chinese uniform a lot more than the gi, no matter if I'm Japanese attire or whatever. Um, like, Bruce Lee is my one of my inspirations but it's not that everything that he wore I'm agreeing to because when he was in Enter the Dragon and he was sparring that dude at the beginning I think it was Sam Hong actually and then he's wearing like this tight black underwear I'm not down for that I would not be wearing something I would not be caught dead wearing something like that um, that's not for me I mean anything the underwear that I wear is the Under Armour underwear it's like a it's like a boxer, boxer, it's kind of like long, like, it's like spandex, you know what I'm saying, like what they wear in, in the NBA, you know, stuff like that, you know, but I wear that underneath my, my shorts and my pants and everything, um, but Bruce Lee wearing that, that tight, that tight underwear and that movie scene, I'm not down for that, you know what I mean? You know, I don't care if he's Bruce Lee or he's Chinese. I'm not going to be wearing something like that. It's not me. And then, even when he was in the game of death and he's wearing that yellow jumpsuit, I don't like that either. I mean, it was too tight, you know, as far as the bottom is concerned. I don't like having a tight bottom like that, you know. I'm okay with the tight top, the tight tank, the tank tops and all that, but I'm not down for the tight, like, tight, tight pants. You know, tight shorts, nah. You know what I mean? So, um, everybody's got this style, but I definitely am not, would never be wearing those gis. Never. You know, I like, I'm, I'm the type of person where um, style to me is important, and what it symbolizes is it's very important as well. You know what I mean? Like, for example, um, Hitler did his things with the Nazis. And if they got this, they got a symbol that represents th what they did, the Nazi symbol. And you don't want to be associated with that. And whatever that they wear, you don't want to be wearing what they wear to make it look like you're them. You know, just like the whole thing with the Nazi thing with the cone head, you don't want to be caught wearing that. 
especially if that's not what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, other things. They got the Nazi salute. Like, the certain way that they salute. You don't want to be associated with that. They even got their, their Nazi marching, like how they would march. You don't want to be associated with that. So, it's like, when you practice the martial arts, it's important what you wear because you're you're associating yourself with certain symbols. And, you know, you see wrestlers, what they wear, you know, they wear, they're known to be wearing those tight, those leotards, those tight leotards. And I'm not going to be caught dead wearing that because I don't want to symbolize that. And that's not what I'm representing. And plus, that's not what I would, I would never want to wear that either. I'm not down for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that tight stuff on the bottom. It's not me. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm more of somebody, you know, I like the modern technology and the clothing. And I'm always looking for, for clothing that's more comfortable, stylish, um, that's, you know, that wicks away sweat very well. Um, just basically great technology. I mean, we came a long way with cl clothing technology. Back in Bruce Lee's time, it was mainly just all cotton type of stuff. And you see the shoes that he was wearing, those Kung Fu shoes. I don't like that. It's like there's no support. You know what I mean? Like it slips off so easily. It's just cotton and a rubber sole. That's it. And it's just like cheap. You know, but now they got these Adidas shoes martial arts shoes that are way more advanced and that's what I recommend you know what I mean like back then he's got the, the, the cotton kung fu pants but now they got polyester type of pants adidas brand name a lot more comfortable you know what I mean so back then the cotton tank tops now they got polyester and spandex material it's a lot more efficient you know, so I think people out there, you know, you you decide, you you choose what you want to symbolize. You want to symbolize the, the Japanese, the Korean, the Chinese, or um, do you want to have your own logo, your own business? So you're obviously gonna want to represent your own. I mean, say you're a business owner, you own your own martial arts school. Why would you wear? the symbol of another martial arts school to represent them when you got your own school. It doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Like, it's an entire conflict of interest. You know, like, even when you, you're you working, you know, you're hired to work for a certain company, they're not going to allow you to wear logos of the, the, of the competitor of where you're working. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you 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 go shopping, or you working at Walmart, and then, and then you're in the Walmart wearing Target, Target uniform. They'll be like, "What are you doing? Walmart's blue and yellow, Target's red and white." Like, you're working at Walmart, but then you're wearing Target inside Walmart. I mean, they're not gonna allow that, and and it's just that's how it is. In the martial arts, what are you representing? Are you representing your own company, your own business, your own style, your own thing? Or are you representing somebody else's? And whoever's you're representing, you know, you're going to a certain martial arts school, you're supposed to help promote their school. Why would you wear a uniform from another school when you're going to this school? It doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, like, or you just representing no school. You just you're just doing your own thing. You don't got a company. You don't got a business. But you're just doing your own thing. So then you're just basically just like the people that just go to the gym wherever the what wear whatever they want. They could be representing Under Armour one day. Next day they're representing Reebok. The day after that they're representing Nike. The day after that they were they were in Champion. They're basically just. You're basically representing the brand of whatever clothing, you know, whatever brand made the clothing that you're wearing. And that, those people aren't paying you. Adidas is not paying you. 
Under Armour is not paying you. None of these places are paying you, but you're wearing their logo, their brand, and you're promoting them. So then when it comes to the martial arts, if you're joining a martial arts school, like, it only makes sense for you to promote the martial arts school of which you come from. You know what I'm saying? So that's what makes sense. And there is such a thing as brand loyalty. Like, if a certain brand makes clothing that you just love, then usually, a lot of times, you just want to wear the brand, you know, clothing that comes from that brand. And that's how I am. You know, like, I'm only going to be wearing, you know, my school logo. You know, and as an undergarment, you know, to my representation, then it's Under Armour. Like, my underwear is Under Armour. You know, my, um, my long sleeve tops are Under Armour. You know what I mean? Like, my shoes are Adidas. My, my pants are Adidas. My shorts are Adidas. I just like the way that it looks. I like the way that it feels. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm always trying to brand myself, like putting my logo on my car, putting my logo on my t-shirts, putting, you know, you know, putting, you know, pr promoting myself. Get, I got my own winter hats, skull caps with my logo on it. It's like, I'm always gonna be trying to promote my own business because it's my business. And if, if um, nobody, you know, if I don't promote myself, nobody's gonna promote me. I gotta promote myself. But as far as everybody else out there, when they don't have their own business to promote, then they're essentially promoting somebody else's business. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're promoting somebody else's business. Because I guarantee you, 99.9% um, .9 of the people out there do not make their own shoes. They don't make their own shirts. They don't make their own clothes. They're buying these clothes, you know, these shoes, these accessories from somebody else. And when you buy from somebody else, it's already branded. And then you become a walking advertisement for that brand. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got to um, be attentive to what we, what we choose to promote, you know. Um, I'm not promoting the MMA. I'm not promoting the boxing. I'm not promoting, you know, the Japanese martial arts, the Korean martial arts. I'm promoting my own martial arts, if that. And then, if, you know, the secondary, then I'm promoting the Chinese martial arts. So it's my own martial arts and then the Chinese martial arts. Or it could be my own martial arts and then Bruce Lee's martial arts and then the Chinese martial arts. So that that's pretty much sounds a little bit more specific to me. Promote my own way, Bruce Lee's way, and then the Chinese martial arts. You know what I'm saying? And the way... Our uniforms are from my uniforms to Bruce Lee's uniforms to the Chinese martial arts uniforms. They're entirely different than the Gi's and the Japanese and the Koreans and the Thai boxing and the boxing and you know, like it's totally different. Wrestling. So you decide, you know, what you want to represent out there. You know, because that makes a difference. It really does, you know, and I think people should pay attention, you know, to what they choose to wear because it symbolizes something.